Today I would like to show you how to make a simple map using ArcMap um, by showing one layer containing raster data. Therefore we will need of course content. We will add some content with the add data button and we will now choose okay we will say uh, let's show you some slope values from our scene in Morocco and you can see here that we are starting from black representing a value of zero up to white representing 89 degrees and first of all I have to mention that this layer has a really shitty name so we will change that name to slope in degrees and to that and so yeah we also have to defer between the data view as you can see here we can just um, yeah, zoom in and zoom out also pan the scene across the whole um, working pane here and we have the layout view in the layout view you will have uh, um, uh, yeah, some kind of content window where you have the data inside and you have your Dynafor paper size and you can add here some elements and as you all may maybe know we need some legend we need a north arrow a scale bar maybe a title for for our uh, map so let's begin maybe with the north arrow don't be so complicated just use a simple symbol that is not that big in size like i have done it here so we will just rearrange the elements now in that moment okay the north arrow here and as you can see our scene is not so good represented so we will just zoom in and therefore we will need the normal zoom we have to differentiate between the zoom you can use in your data and the zoom you can use here for your map as you can see here there's a huge difference between these two zooms okay now we will pan on our map as you can see we will have some quite good relief here and yeah we have the north arrow what we'll also need is the scale bar and we will take just that simple scale bar again don't be so complicated so now yeah as you maybe are from america or wherever you i will just me use a metric system here and you can also adjust the settings of that or maybe change the properties of that scale bar as you can see 30,000 meters is the same as kilometers so we'll change the division units here to kilometers and the label okay it's an english map we'll say it's kilometers as well and now you have the simple scale bar containing zero up to 20 kilometers now we will go back again to the whole page by clicking that button that means zoom to the whole map layout and now we have one problem we don't have enough space for the title of the map so we will rearrange the data view and insert a title slope in or around Quarzatzate that's the main city in the uh, in that map okay that we will have later change that again make the north end a little bit smaller and what we will need now is the legend therefore insert legend and as you can see here we have just the map layers that is only one layer in our case so that's a slope and we have the legend items okay that could be only slope and we can add that here Let's go forward. Legend title is quite in, quite good. We will make a border, small one. Leave that here. Background, you don't need that in a normal case. And also drop shadow. Just make the map as simple as you would like to see it for yourself. So we have here now the legend box. And let's zoom a little bit in to have a look on it. It looks quite well. Uh, the only problem in that case is that you have here now the um, the writing of value. That means that you're differ differentiating the value of that kind of color bar. Therefore, we can just arrange the uh, style of that slope item. By clicking on style, we'll 
use this one. Let's say, okay, just have slope in degrees and have the values here. That's fine for now. And maybe, um, yeah, the spectrum from black to white is not that kind of bright. So um, we will rearrange that as well, just by clicking on the color ramp here and say, okay, we'll have that nicely looking green red um, color go back to the, to the map and yeah so you can really could differentiate between the areas with high values and low values one more thing we will need is a coordinate system for our map so we will get that by clicking on layers properties there you can see you have that kind of grid button over here and we will create a new grid and therefore we will need the measured grid as we are interested in some information in meters. The other possibilities is the graticle grid. There you will have degrees and minutes and seconds, but you cannot really good uh, do math with that. So we'll go with measured map, uh, measured units and the intervals are here in that case 20,000 meters. We will just leave it like that, and but we will use tick marks and labels instead. So go ahead, ahead, and finish that for the first case. 